So the first rule in writing a program, if you haven't already learned, is to, when someone gives you a problem to, to solve, is to tell your boss, no. I'm not, I, I'm, so you want to simplify the problem as much as possible. Like, okay, I'll write a program to do that, but it's not going to handle this or this or this or this or this, okay? Uh, <laughs> So you, you, it's called, I think that's called like writing the requirements document or something. Uh, like you scope out what you're going to do. So we always want to make the scope as small as possible, right? Like any laziness is, a, is uh, as the inventors of Perl will tell you, is an inherent virtue in any computer scientist. Um, so what we're going to do is make the problem simpler. Instead of parsing full propositional logic that could be arbitrarily crazy, we're just going to parse something called conjunctive normal form, or CNF. So we're going to take our, our formula and propositional logic and simplify it to conjunctive normal form. And you've got to get good at this, okay? This you're going you're gonna to just have to know how to do this because I'm going like, to ask you to do this on the exam with no notes or anything. Um, and it's not that hard, um, but it like, does require practice. Um, they're just steps you do. So the first thing you do is take the fancy stuff and get rid of it. Uh, we already talked about how to get rid of this thing. How do we get rid of that thing? Uh, Tyler. Uh, bidirectional implication. Yeah, that whole thing rewrites to A implies B and B implies A. Great. Well, you know what? Have I, this is like the most, for me, this is the foundation, like, I, I'm very bad at memorizing stuff. Like, I did so badly in high school history, you don't even want to know about it. Um, so, for me, it's all about deriving stuff. Um, so, there's one thing you have to remember, and if you know that, you can derive everything else you need to know about the whole logic part of the class, which is that implication is A implies B is entirely equivalent to not A or B, okay? Remember that, okay? There are a few key things in this whole class, and that's one of them. Because this is just, just what we were saying. Like, either when, when A is false, I don't care. Statement's true. But when A is not false, when A is true, B has to be true. And that's what this says. So this is like truth table equivalent to this. Lee. What's the Morgan's theorem? Oh yes, that, there's a name for that. Okay, well make sure you all know De Morgan's theorem. Okay, cool. There, there's, I know there are a whole bunch of De Morgan's laws. There are like a whole bunch of them. Uh, okay. I don't memorize that stuff because that's all obvious. But for me, this is non-obvious. Like this requires a memory cell. It's not creepy. It's good. It's self-reinforcement. It's the oneness of all human knowledge. Yeah, it's beautiful. So okay. So remember this. So that's the next thing you do. Is you get. So first we got rid of all these double. Arrows, and now we're with this double headed arrows, and now we get rid of all these. Okay? So now we've made the problem simpler. We only have and, or, and not. So that's life is good, or getting better at least. So, so, so that's the next thing you do. So you get rid of that. And um, now the next thing we do is move negation inward. Okay? So um, let's see. Let's 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 do these these transmogrifications to our little knowledge base about unicorns here. So so here are the woofs, or though they're not. Yeah, they are. Those are those are those are formulas in propositional logic. Let's translate those into CNF. So the first one becomes. Let's see where were we? Joe, this first one mythical implies immortal. Exactly, not mythical or immortal. Um, oh, 
Oh, heaven. Go for this. So we've just got this at the moment. Um, we haven't talked about uh, messing with that yet. So let's just leave that as is. Um, maybe we don't have any examples. Oh, yeah, we do right here. Here's one. Uh, Jeff gets this one. All right, do the, do the, take out the implication, please. You mean you mean or I'm sure. Oh, oh, and then now okay now we now we do this so that's this is step one step two we push the knots in, right. absolutely. So that is going to become uh, so not A or B means we don't have either of them. We have not A and not B, um, and we've got both of those or this. Okay, so that's good. So everyone see how we pushed the negation inwards? Yeah. When, when in CNF is this incredibly simple format, and negation has to cuddle up right next to the variables. So if you ever see negation trying to flex its muscles and being like around two terms at once, push it in, cuddle it right up next to the variable. Um, and this last one is so trivial, I'll do it myself, um, even a professor can do it. Um, Okay, now we're not done yet because we got these yuckinesses. Um, conjunctive normal form, conjunctive normal form, CNF, uh, places the emphasis on the conjunction, right? So that means that it's an, it's, your formula is going to be an and of ors. And <coughs> excuse me, but these are ors that contain ands, so that is not CNF. So... Whenever I get confused about what to do, I always just write down a little example using A, B, and C because I can deal with those. Um, so if I ever have A or B and C, I just think in my head, okay, yeah, that's totally equivalent to uh, A or B. I'm off. Wah! It's totally equivalent to A or B and... Um, a or C, right? And now we have an and of ors. Emphasis on the and, conjunctive normal form. Yeah, Dylan. I think that's 100% totally true. Yeah, well, this is true. It's, remember, so if A is true, that whole thing is true. If A is true, that whole thing is true. So the end is true, so it's true. Yeah, okay, great. So, uh, all right, let's, uh, so now if we look back at our, at our knowledge base here that we're trying to CNFIs, um, I wish I had a word processor at this point. Um, we've got, not mythical or here, and now we do our transformation here. So now we're going to have mythical or not immortal and mythical or mammal. But remember that when I write down a bunch of formulas here, the robot's going to have all those formulas in its head at the same time. So there's already like an implicit and around all of them. So when an, when an when an and is the, is the most outside thing, you don't even have to write it. You can just say, you can just put the next thing on the next line, and you're already good. We don't need these parens at all. We're making things simpler and simpler and simpler. Everything is going to get distilled down to just an <coughs> or, where all the negations are touching the variables. Everyone understanding this? We're distilling, we're making, we're, we're simplifying our parsing problem and our inference problem, by the way, as much as we can. So I'll do the same transformation here. All right, we've got not I, 
not immortal and not mammal or horned. So simplify that, and now we've got not H or magical. Okay, so given English, you need to be able to get to here. All right, this is CNF. Now this is easy to process. This is the kind of thing we're happy to write programs to deal with because it's simple. <laughs> Arbitrary formulas, complicated, that simple. 